The easiest way to send numbers via MQTT is by sending them in the payload as a plain text message. However, when the message is received, it's no longer plain text, it's actually in a byte array. So let's have a look at the code. This code's going to make it easy. You can actually extract an integer or a string with just three lines of code, and I'll show you how this works. The, the message is in the payload, so you've got a topic. So we compare the topic, and in this case we're looking for temperature to turn an LED on or off, and the information, which is the temperature, is in the payload. So we're not quite sure if we're going to get a, a string or a number. So the first thing we do is terminate the payload with a zero. So if it's a character array, it would be correctly terminated. The essence of the um, program here is changing the byte pointer into a character pointer and it's done on line 72. So you definitely need that line. You could use the payload lines, that's two lines. And then we make space for some variables and then we say if it's a digit, the first one's a digit, we can then extract the number with ASCII to float or ASCII to integer. And then we print it out. If the payload doesn't begin with a 0 to 9 character, then it's a string. So we just, in this example, we're actually showing it change to a string called S, and we're printing it out as a character array and as a string object. And then below, we're turning the LED on and off. So the most basic way of doing this is to, first of all, terminate the payload, then change the pointer to a character pointer and then grab it with either line 77, 78 or 81 depending on what you want. So it's basically three lines of code. So let's see that in operation. So I've got MQTT FX to send a temperature here and I'll turn on the serial window and we'll see what comes out. This will give you the examples. So first of all, we're going to publish temperature 18.5. So if you watch the, the window there, it says message arrived. And the float is 18.5. The integer, of course, is 18. We can send a temperature of 22.6. So on one of them, the lead is on. One of them, the lead is off. If we send toasty warm, which is text before the number, then it will just print the text out, and I'm showing it being printed out two ways. The first way is a character string, and the second is a string object. And if we send the number first and the text later, then it just picks the number out and ignores the text. Well, I hope that's helped. So you can actually extract any one of those just with three lines. So I hope this has helped. Let me know in the comments what you think about it.